Hi there, Simon from Simon Woods. Blah, no, I can't speak. SimonWoods.com, that's what I mean. Um, I've got a couple of Chiantis here, um, and one is uh, Chianti Classico, uh, so the, the, the heartland of, uh, of traditional Chianti Shire, if you want, and then uh, and, and some purists say that is the only bit of Chianti. Then these other bits around it, I can't remember, there's five or six different ones that are not Chianti Classico. Um, so uh, then that's where this first one comes from. So see, this is um, uh, Campriano uh, Chianti Colli Senesi. 2013, and it's made from Sangiovese um, with uh, Canaiolo Nero and Ciliegiolo. Uh, so, well, uh, let's have a whirl of it. 13%. Here we go. Well, that's a young gush of fruit. There's a little bit of vanilla there. I don't know if that's oak or some of the other grape varieties. Plum, berry. Uh, it smells, yeah, it almost feels like one of those that you want to half pint pot rather than a regular wine glass. Uh, but I've only got a regular wine glass here, so I'll give it a snip, give it a taste. Bit of cola. Um, there is this. It's funny that when, when I, it's not quite as rich as I was expecting it to be from that um, uh, from the aromas, and it's got this freshness, almost like a, an earthy freshness. Almost feels like a wine that you could chill. Uh, there's no uh, real hard edges there. There's no. It doesn't feel like there's uh, huge amounts of um, of tannin either from fruit or from oak. Um, it's refreshing. It, it really does does feel like a good pizza glug, um, and uh, all the, yeah, I, I, I like stuff like this. Good Wednesday night sausage wine. Mm. Yum. Um, and hangs around in the mouth. There's this little herby, stony character that just sort of gently nips at you, and a bit of dark cherry in there too. Mm. Yum. Uh, okay, next one is Poggio Vipere. Um, Vendemia 2011 um, and um, I think this one is uh, Sangiovese with a dash of Merlot. Let's give it a whirl. Two years older and the, the fruit's mellowing slightly. It's still got that, um, that plummy edge and it's still it, it's the, the, um, uh, the cherries coming through now are almost like slightly cooked cherries. What's it called? Clafutis where you've got uh, sponge and uh, cook che and cherries and you cook, you cook it and uh, they get slightly puddingy and you get that interaction between the slightly uncooked uh, batter stroke cake mix and, uh, uh, and, and the fruit flesh. Um, it smells uh, not, not hugely complex but it smells like it's going to be uh, alluring. And it's got that fruit freshness again uh, that was in the first one. Um, there's this juiciness and it really is, um, I mean it's, it's uh, coming up for four years old, but there's still, yeah, there's still this vigorous, vibrant freshness about it. Uh, sometimes when they put Merlot into, um, uh, into Chianti Classico, it can be, it can get a little bit too flashy, but here it's very much speaking with a strong Italian accent. And um, in terms of uh, the way it's built, it's built quite similarly to the, uh, the first one. It uh, doesn't feel like it's uh, hampered by uh, too much oak. Has it got anything about... Um, no, it doesn't say too much about oak on on the back. Um, it's, a, again, it's something that you want to uh, uh, quaff rather than sit and sip and uh, lift your little finger up. Um, and um, I like them both. I, 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 if given the choice, I'd, I'd probably sit there with a glass in one hand of one and a glass in the other hand of the other. And um, maybe see which glass finishes first. That's, that's always, for me, a good test. Uh, what I call the empty glass or the empty bottle test. It's a far better test than giving something uh, 89 points or 94 points out of 100. Uh, anyway, I'll shut up. Hope you enjoyed these. I did. See you soon.